Amy Bowker walks her dog three times a day and does regular tick checks on herself and her pet. In the last three weeks, I personally have taken 16 ticks off of Wesley. State health officials say the two primary ticks in the state are the deer tick and the dog tick. There are at least five diseases that can be transmitted by them, and right now, two of them are on the rise. So in New Hampshire, for anaplasma and babesia, we've seen a doubling of these infections over recent years. In 2017, we had 317 cases of anaplasma, and then 78 cases of babesia. State infectious disease specialist Beth Daly says people infected by these diseases may experience flu-like symptoms which can turn into serious complications. It is important to get treated promptly so that you can prevent more serious infections and then potentially death. And because of that, health officials are pushing prevention. There does seem to be kind of an explosion right now. Dr. Julia Greenspan recommends wearing repellent and long clothes while playing outside. If you get bit, save it. The instinct is going to be to throw it away, uh, panic, you know, pitch it or get rid of it immediately. Uh, but there's a lot of information inside the bug. Yeah, and that's because you can send ticks to places that will test them to see them to see if they're carrying any diseases. Reporting live in Manchester, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.